You know, I want to start on the fact that you guys are taking the first vaccine that only requires potentially one dose um, into this major phase three trial for COVID-19. Tell us about how you reached that decision that it could be strong enough with just one dose based on, you know, what data you've seen so far. Well, Meg, uh, thank you for, for having me in the program. Yes, we are studying one dose. And it's not just uh, overnight that we did that. We have been working for a long time on this vaccine platform and studied in many diseases, single dose and multiple doses. And we learned that a single dose of the vaccine could give protection very quickly within 15 days. And with that, uh, could be very useful in the uh, emergency use. We did a phase one study where we studied this uh, in the, uh, since mid-July, and we confirmed that we have a very good safety, but also a very good immune response and that made us decide to, to ask the FDA for permission, and they uh, allowed us to start a phase three study with a single dose uh, in a very large population, 60,000 people we are going to vaccinate. Uh, you're also, though, running a separate trial in the UK, which Andrew noted earlier, uh, will test two doses. Why also be testing two when you're going forward with a 60,000 participant trial with one dose? Yeah, we'll, we'll test... A single dose will be very useful in a very quick rollout in the world for preventing immediate transmission. We also are studying booster dose, so we could um, we could learn about what is the long-term, lifelong protection. And almost every vaccine will will need a boost, and we will evaluate boost at two months, but also boost at six and twelve months to see what's the best long-term program for long long-term protection. And that's why uh, we study multiple but we kick off with a large scale uh, single dose to uh, go into emergency use as quickly as possible. One question that vaccine experts have about your approach, of course, is that you're using a harmless virus, an adenovirus, to deliver the genetic material of the coronavirus to our immune cells, uh, but that our immune systems could actually develop um, antibodies against the vector itself, thereby making it more difficult to get efficacy with future boosts if you have to dose, you know, again each year. Um, how do you look at that potential? Will you be able to give this as a potential annual yeah, shot we if we need to? Yeah, uh, Mac, we studied that in uh, several different situations, uh, both with an HIV vaccine, we give four times an A26 vector over one year time. In uh, other uh, areas, we also did that. and that. But we learned that the, the vector itself is not generating that much antibodies and not that much immunogenicity. It's the product what the vector produces in the body, the spike protein, which is the core for generating the protection for COVID-19, which is generating the, the, uh, the, the reaction. And so we are comfortable that we can use it for a prime boost. We have done that many times in different areas. More than 100,000 people have been vaccinated in studies and deployment of this vector, and we know a lot and we are comfortable that that will not be the case. 